hello and welcome to the Books Channel. Reading research papers is taxing, yet important for scholars, researchers, and students. And the complexity of the content makes it easy to become overwhelmed. Today, we'd like to share some useful tips for improving your academic reading on books tablets. Sorting through literature is a good starting point for immersive reading. It provides a structured framework for your research and allows you to focus on a specific topic that you want to learn more about. Within the library, you can create bookshelves for different topics and subtopics, and you can switch to list mode to show paper titles that are usually lengthy. If you want to quickly locate a specific paper, search for the keywords of its title and you will get it in a second. Tip number two, prioritize the papers you intend to read. Not every paper needs to be thoroughly read. You should choose whether to skim or dive deep based on its quality, novelty, and impact. When you want to run through a paper that presents preliminary studies, you can tap the format and choose Scrolling View for quick PDF browsing. Or you can tap Progress, Preview to locate charts and diagrams. For papers that are seminal in your field, tap Navigation and choose Reflow to adjust the layout of PDFs and then you can study the paper thoroughly. While reading, critical readers like you may come across unfamiliar terms or find points that prompt you to question. At that time, you can long press the content to directly look it up in dictionaries or search for it in a search engine. The uninterrupted workflow helps you maintain focus while the paper-like display of Books Tablet alleviates eye fatigue during prolonged reading. Good readers take good notes. Taking notes as you go allows you to understand complex logic with multiple layers. Our NeoReader offers several note-taking options. First up, you can enlarge the page margins in format, create a marquee to zoom in, and then take side notes. Second, if you want to write down detailed notes, you can go to the Progress tab to add a blank page next to the one you are reading. The pen to paper sensation on our tablet replicates the feeling of writing on printed documents, encouraging deeper engagement and better retention. When you want to add comments to a specific point, long press to select it and make annotations with the keyboard or handwriting. In the content tab, you can find and manage them. As you read through multiple papers, you may come across novel concepts that inspire you, opposing viewpoints from scholars or emerging trends across various discussions. It is critical to organize these interconnected findings for your own writing. To connect all these dots, our NeoReader allows you to link selected content to other pages, files, websites, or notes. Long press to select the content and the Word menu will pop up. and then you can connect the highlighted text to another page, link a table with a relevant file, add Wikipedia links next to a term, or link a viewpoint with a specific page of your handwritten notes. A quick tap on the icon takes you straight to the linked content, making it easier to compare and combine information from different sources. When you've finished reading a paper, Taking a moment to summarize can be extremely helpful. It allows you to distill the main points and support your own writing. Books tablets enable you to split the screen and work with two windows. Tap Split View and then you can open a handwritten or text notepad where you can write a five sentence summary of an experiment or an overview of the background. A hardcore yet highly effective tactic is to rewrite the abstract. You can black out the original abstract, write your own version, and then compare the two. The notes you created will be automatically saved in the Reading Notes tab under the name of the paper. Another method is to make a voice memo. 
On the top toolbar, tap the insert icon, choose recorder, and add an oral summary. This kind of verbal interpretation will promote deeper reflection of knowledge. Paper reading requires not only diligence, but also the appropriate tools and strategies. And when reading on books, you don't just consume knowledge, you actively engage with it. If you have any useful tips for reading on books tablets, please share them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. That's it for today. See you next time.